Hello friends, my name is Basan. So today my topic on SharePoint Starter Kit. So basically the SharePoint Starter Kit is generated by the PNP team, Microsoft team, uh, which provides the numerous web parts and other extension and the other component. And these are, uh, this uh, Starter Kit is not yet in production release. So there are a guide documentation in the GitHub site you can uh look sp hyphen starter hyphen kit so it's a sh uh, under sharepoint uh, repository you will find this as a solution and this solution is basically contain the communication site or team site and uh, the the solution contain the scripts which you, which you can uh, create a site within a minute in your tenant so i'm not going to waste your time and just quickly show you how we can sh uh, do this so 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 uh, if you go uh, if you are aware of the pnp model and uh, is uh, development like extension web part and other things you uh, you know uh, uh, they it is open uh, community and uh, so let's quickly jump into the github project so so this is a project in this project you will find there are the number of things like get it started and this and you mentioned this is a uh, as already and it has a custom web part as well so you can use this web part and um, make your community site and your team site uh, better so let quickly jump into the tenant administrator uh, office administrator and then I will show you uh, how we can do there is so uh, in the settings pan uh, there is an option to uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called uh, organization profile so in organization profile uh, you have an option uh, you need to check the release pref uh, preferences it must be a target to release for everyone so if it is and when you set it it will take a 24 hour to update uh, uh, your site so it it is a prerequisite and you need to uh, do uh, before uh, uh, running the script so also I'm going to um, let me go this is my site collection and you have to clear the app catalog as well where you can upload the uh, apps uh, uh, custom app that is uh, provided by the PNP and it's part of the PNP model it also the prerequisite so apart from this there is another prerequisite that is called user profile in user profile you need to uh, create one uh, user property so this user property basically use for store the uh, user link so so later i will show you in the section where uh, you can uh, customize and add your links so i have already done this uh, mm, done these changes at my end uh, let me show you in the uh, mm, manage uh, so, uh, sorry the user profile property so this is called pnp hyphen collab footer link so if you edit it you will find this is a simple as string value it and it has a maximum value 36 100 uh, and the rest of other properties are same so so you need not to be worried you just uh, uh, so also uh, you just create it and and save it once it is done there is another section in uh, in uh, in central administration it's a part of prerequisite uh, it's called term store so in term store you need to uh, give uh, uh, yourself i mean the tenant admin as a term store administrator so so once this uh, the settings is done so you uh, go to go to run the script i have already run the script uh, in this tenant so i will let me i will show you and later i will uh, tell you how uh, how i done so as i am quick uh, let me quickly show you the app catalog first and the app catalogs uh, i have already uploaded uploaded the pnp uh, uh, starter kit uh, uh, 
sp pkg file so once you uploaded you need to be check it's no errors uh, no errors uh, i mean uh, there is no error while uploaded this so apart from this uh you need to uh, go to the uh, click this try uh, the preview version and go to the app management you need to uh, approve the one of the pending approvals is graph microsoft graph so microsoft graph you need to provide the permission and approve it so mm, so this is the one prerequisite i have created the numerous num number of site at my end to test the script and i face some of the issues so i have so that's why I, i'm my main motive here to show you what are the prerequisites so i mentioned already the prerequisite so let me uh, go to this uh, portal and show you what how it's look like so this is a portal it's a orange theme and you will find it has uh, numerous web parts and if you see the company ppd and and there are basically a personal organization and document links the personal link you will see upcoming event mart task in the email as well and the recent document and the followed site and the recent site and this is the people you will search the people based on the first names so i have created the users with the test names so you'll find you will see all the users are here so uh, in the organization uh, tab basically these two tabs are the more or less are the same these are the two uh, custom pages so this is the part of the template and if you see these are the links and this is the my links and so i have already mentioned so the user profile for property i created we already created so these are links are coming from and uh, store in the user profile um, settings so these are the links are available throughout the site i mean the subsite as well document uh, in the document section we have a two um, subsite as one is the hr human resource and another is the marketing so let me show you the home page this is the home page and if you see this is the temperature and at the bottom you will see this these are the clocks so if you want to going to edit the page you just click edit and there is the edit section in the edit section you can change and choose the layout based on your preferences and to edit the web part you need to create this edit web part and this is a tiles web part and you will see these are the tiles pre configured tiles already there and you can change it and you can put your urls based on your requirement and here as as you see this these uh, ui fabric icons and the themes has been, been used here so you can quickly grab the icons whatever you want from the site and paste it here based on your uh, type of title so yeah or you also you can create uh, the new uh, link as well by clicking the plus sign so that's it from this uh, tiles web part and to update this web part so nope it's wrong i think i have clicked somewhere wrong so yeah so update you need to first click edit web part and so this is called hero web part so you need to select uh, and at the bottom you will find the edit details section and here here is a link and the title so you when you click next 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 you will see the changes in the left and right hand side so you can edit the links and once you done you can save the changes so here i'm going to discard it so uh, yeah so at the bottom uh, there is a company news page you can click click create the new page let me create one so i have let me give uh, the name this is this would be a test uh yeah so i'm going testing so let me click the test post and i'm going to change the image as well so in the image you can use the recent image as well as 
the the image from any other library as well so you can drag and set the position of the image and once you can see yeah, it's a good position and and also you can set the focal point as well so yeah it's very quick uh, good i mean this these all are the web parts are built in uh, the react framework and uh, then yeah so using pnp model and the react uh, library and so there are a number of web part as well so yeah, there is a search functionality also also there it's all out of the box functionality so let me quick back uh, to organization section and uh, so let me change the clock so so is so i need to go down and how can i edit yes go down and click on edit and select this and click add it and you can change the time zone from here and once you've done you can publish it so uh, this is all about and i will let me show you the site content so in the site content you will see there are uh, out of the box library as well and there are the alerts and the pnp footer uh, portal photo links so if i'm going to click and you will see these are the three groups you will find and the same group uh, you will see at the bottom of the screen. So if you click it, you will see application, internal module, and the no and the news. And th these are the same as as uh, display uh, in the list. So these are coming from this list as well. So another list is called the event list. You can create your events. So currently, I'm not seeing any event, but there might be some events are available as well so as uh, it's showing seven event four events are there so let me let's quickly go to the alerts if you see at the top of the high this is alert so i have created and uh, the one alert so this is the alert you can you can edit this alert by giving the content type and the title and the message also it's also the alert type the information and the another is uh, uh so yeah it's information and you can check other option as well so yeah so uh, this is all about more or less the same and uh, yeah so it's a very um, themes look like very uh, good and they did a lot of uh, changes and a lot of uh, effort to create these web parts and uh, and customize the side so there are two sub sites uh, i mean site collection as well one is human resource hr and another is marketing so at the bottom if you see at the bottom you will find there are some of the links let me show you uh, uh, yep in the bottom if you see these are the content link and uh, yep these are the links and you will see these two links and these come from the uh user profile property so yet that we created so edit my links so you will see the same links uh you will find these links from throughout your application and the tools and the legal policies uh so let me quickly uh, jump into the site content and i will show you uh the list so there are no lists i mean these are the out of the box lists are available and these tools and the other are the part of the uh, uh, i mean say it's a part of the template so later i will show you how we can create the template as well right so not create the template but uh, how we can and uh, uh, which templates are being used in the pnp site so i think that so this is the end of my session so if you like please uh, subscribe to my channel and i will like it would be great if you subscribe my channel and uh, yeah so upcoming video would be uh, on uh, pnp and the how we can deploy it on the tenant and powershell script each and everything and i'm going into detail and i will show you each and every step so if you want to stay and keep updated please subscribe to channel and thank you and have a nice day